Hello viewers, uh, before I start my topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel uh, for more information and videos every day and uh, to support this channel. Now today's topic is uh, uh, osteophyte, you know, so in uh, other words known as bone spars or um, bone knee lumps, you know. And now osteophytes are uh, the bone spurs that grow on the bones of the spine or around the joints, you know. So they often form uh, next to giants affected by osteoarthritis. Uh, osteoarthritis is a condition that uh, causes giants to become painful and stiff. You know. Now osteophytes can grow uh, from any bone, uh, but they are most uh, uh, often uh, found in the neck, shoulder, knee, lower back, fingers, or toe bone, and the foot or the heel. You know. So osteophytes uh, don't always cause the symptoms, uh, but they can cause uh, like uh, or, uh, the problems uh, if they rub against uh, other bones and tissues and uh, restrict the movement and squeeze uh, uh, nearby nerves, you know. For example, osteophytes can occur in uh, spine, uh, uh, so they can cause pain and stiffness in the back, you know. and. Uh, and the osteophytes that occur in the neck can pinch a nearby nerve and cause pain and pins and needles and numbness or weakness in the arms, you know. Now, if there are osteo um, osteophytes uh, uh, that are in the shoulder, you know, so can limit the space available for the tendons and the ligaments and uh, may be linked to um, tendonitis uh, or a rotator uh, um, uh, cough tear, you know. And if there is a osteophyte in the hip and knee, it can reduce the range of the movement and are often associated with a painful arthritis. You know. And if the osteophyte is in the knee bones, you know, so may cause pain when you bend and extend your leg, or if in the fingers can cause the lumps, you know. Um, uh, the osteophytes uh, tend to form when uh, the giants have been affected by arthritis, you know. So osteoarthritis damages uh, cartilage, uh, which is the tough, white, flexible tissue that uh, aligns the bones and allows uh, the giants to move easily, you know. And osteoarthritis mostly occurs uh, in the knees, hips, spine, small giants of the hands and the base of the big toe. Now, as the joints become increasingly damaged, uh, the new bone may form around the joints. So, uh, these bony uh, growths are called osteophytes. And uh, osteophytes uh, can also form uh, in the spine as uh, a result of uh, ankylosing spine and dilatus. You know, so it's a type of arthritis that uh, specifically affects the spine. Now, if you have the giant pain or stiffness or if you have other symptoms in the area of your body so such as numbness or nerve pain or pins and needles you know so you should consult your doctor so they will investigate uh, the physical examination you know and uh, taking your history and medical history and uh, they may advise you the x-ray maybe CT scan or MRI of the bones you know uh, to just find the problem and see the bone health you know and uh, now, uh, osteophytes uh, don't really cause pain, but uh, the associated arthritis might, you know. So, if uh, you are in pain, uh, some over the counter medications such as paracetamol and uh, ibuprofen may help to relieve the pain, you know. So, uh, ibuprofen is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug, uh, so which can help to reduce the swelling and the inflammation, you know. Uh, if you're overweight, uh, losing weight uh, can help you relieve the symptoms. And uh, physiotherapy is another option, you know. Uh, surgery can sometimes be used to help manage any underlying arthritis in the joint, you know. So it can be helpful for osteoarthritis that affect your hips, knees, or joints, uh, particularly uh, those at the base of the thumb, you know. Uh, so, there is usually no need uh, to remove an osteophyte uh, unless it's irritating uh, a nerve in the spine or restricting the joint movement, you know. So, if you do need surgery to remove an osteophyte, your surgeon will explain the procedures, risks and benefits, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video and please visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com for more information about the diseases and medical conditions and other health information. Goodbye.